you know, not having any direction to go in, took the leap into voiceover and um, rented the school studio to record some auditions and, and demos and um, join voices and um, landed a few jobs. However, quickly realized uh, that voice acting is a lot harder than it sounds. Um, <laughs> and that's when I kind of found my way into the casting, online casting world. Mm -hmm. um, I saw voices.com was hiring and I thought what better way to learn about the craft and the industry than to work for them. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. This uh, this is the VO Dojo 21 Questions, and we are here today with Sonia Smith from Backstage. Um, super excited to have you joining us for Ask the Sensei soon, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to answer these Dojo 21 Questions. Um, let's start with the first one. What is your one word check-in for today? Um, my one word check-in for today is grateful. Grateful, lovely. Yes. And where are you from? I'm originally from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, um, but I currently live in West Lorne, Ontario, which is a little farm, um, farm town in between Detroit and Toronto. Excellent. And as, as we were talking about before, my Midwestern heart goes pitter pat. <laughs> yeah, because I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Um, and so you answered you answered number the, the third one too. Where do you live now? Well, what, what should we know about you, Sonia? Well, um, I live on a farm. I think <laughs> interesting fact. Um, I love the farm life. Um, originally from Toronto, um, grew up in the city and then my grandparents had a farm, um, and growing up, I spent my summers on their farm and found my happy place. So when it was time for me to move out, um, and go to university, I chose to come out this way. And I studied philosophy of all things mm -hmm. at Western University um, in London, Ontario. Um, I met my husband in second year and have just stayed out here um, and feeling very grateful that um, I'm kind of fulfilling my childhood dream of living on a farm, working from home and raising my family um, it's really a wonderful life and yeah, feeling very grateful. That's fantastic. Now, what is the bridge between Canadian farm life, philosophy to degree and being a part of Backstage? What is your role at Backstage? At Backstage, I am a voiceover casting specialist. Mm -hmm. So I work on the business development team. And my role is to bring more voiceover jobs to the platform for talent to apply to. Um, so every day I'm just reaching out to clients, um, potential employers, learning about their casting process and seeing if Backstage can be a great resource for them. Um, all the while helping Backstage kind of grow um, our footprint in the voiceover industry. Um, how I got to this place is a great story I, that I'm excited to share. So as I mentioned, I studied philosophy. Um, my career path was taking me to law school. Um, but in my final year, um, I shadowed a lawyer and realized I do not want to do this. <laughs> this is not the job for me. Um, and was kind of at a loss of where to go after I graduated. Um, luckily that year, I also took a speech class as an elective and my speech professor told me that I had a wonderful voice 
and that I should do something with it. And he introduced me to a platform called voices.com. And um, Voices.com is actually local to London, Ontario. Um, That's where they're based. Mm -hmm. So um, they were a fast growing, um, well known company in the town at that time. Um, So I kind of, you know, not having any direction to go in, took the leap into voiceover and um, rented the school studio to record some auditions and and demos and um, joined voices and um, landed a few jobs. However, quickly realized uh, that voice acting is a lot harder than it sounds. Um, (laughs) And that's when I kind of found my way into the casting, online casting world. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw voices.com was hiring. And I thought, what better way to learn about the craft and the industry than to work for them? So I joined their team in 2013 Mm -hmm. um, and worked there for about four years Mm -hmm. and um, left to kind of pursue my own business and do my own thing um, for a couple of years. And then in August of 2020, Backstage reached out to me. Um, backstage has always been a platform for on-camera talent, um, really well known, um, in the theater and film schools, um, and had not, there's always, there was always a voiceover component there, but it was never an area of focus. Um, and they wanted it to be. So they reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in helping grow voiceover at backstage and, um, yeah, I was just really excited to get back into the industry and um, to grow, help backstage grow with the voiceover. With the voiceover. And it's been a fun journey this past couple of years. And again, back to my check word, I'm so grateful. Mm-hmm. So grateful. Yeah. Where the path has taken me. <laughs> Excellent. That's a, that's a powerful journey. And then backstage has also recently um, acquired, I don't know, even, I don't, not sure what the business term is, but acquired um, Mm -hmm. voice one, two, three. And I know um, I, it seems like it's been a seamless, it seems like it's been a really seamless um, intersection, but can you talk a little bit about what that, what that process was and, and where things are at with that? How, yeah, is, is it's the same thing now, or how does it, it doing? Both, both brands operate independently, um, <laughs> and we um, support each other and collaborate, learn from each other. Um, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I think you know, Voice One Two Three is such an amazing platform for voiceover talent. Um, and there's a lot to be learned for, from both sides. So, um, yeah, we're just sharing knowledge, sharing resources, and um, that's the way our relationship is currently. I'm not sure what the plan is for the future, mm-hmm. um, but right now it's a very, yeah, supportive, positive, um, collaborative relationship that we are learning from each other and growing together. Um, and it's very exciting, mm-hmm. very exciting. Stuff, and, yeah. and so, so when, when you are, when you are part of backstage, if you're a member of backstage, then you have access to the other, or is it two separate entities still? Two separate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. So you're building, you're building relationships with clients for um, backstage members. And that's a separate right. list. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Um, what is, uh, let's see. Oh, what are three top ingredients to your success? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would say integrity, Mm. communication, Mm -hmm. and passion. Fantastic. And those, those totally are the values of voiceover in a nutshell, <laughs> so that, okay, yeah. that, that really is, is a perfect, a perfect dovetail. It's great. Um, awesome. Yeah. Um, what are you proudest about 
uh, about your work with Backstage? Oh, that's a great question too. I think that what makes me most proud is how we've been able to grow voiceover at Backstage with integrity. I think it's so important to honor the industry and honor the art and the craft and the actor um, while also, you know, providing opportunities and resources and, and, and education as well. And I feel like Backstage has done such a great job with that. Um, we've always had a reputation in the industry of being a resource for mm -hmm. actors. Um, and I, I feel like we've upheld that in the voiceover space. And so I'm really proud of Backstage and us for doing that. Excellent. Yes. Always, always good when the resources for actors um, lead with integrity. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> um, what's your biggest fear or challenge? Um, you know, there's always the fear of the unknown, right? Um, and change brings on that fear. Um, I think there's a lot of unknowns in our world right now, and that can be scary. Um, I think also, you know, there's a lot of unknowns in the industry of where things are going and how that will affect actors and, and work, um, you know, primarily with, you know, the introduction of AI, um, how that's going to impact the industry. So I think that's, that's the biggest challenge ahead is, and, and fear is just how we navigate um, change and, and, and the unknown. Yeah, and it does seem to keep on accelerating as well. What was, you know, like 10 years ago was one thing and then five years ago, and then now like it, it's shifting, shifting, ever shifting, so. Totally, and you know, like I said, yeah, it's a little, it's a little jarring or a little scary, but I think, you know, we, we work with what we have, we do our best to plan and we kind of are as flexible as we can be. And I think, um, so are the actors too, right? Um, mm -hmm. I feel like you have to be in your business in order to be successful. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to ask a couple of questions, uh, just a couple more questions about, about backstage. Um, um, where do you think that it fits in, like uh, uh, backstage, Does it where does it fit in a voice actor's um, mm, toolkit? Like, is it for people who are beginning? Is it for people at any part of their voiceover journey? Well, how would you describe that? Yeah, I would say it's for people at any point. Um, I think it's a great place to start. I always recommend it for people who are interested to just kind of test out and see if it if voiceover is something for, for them because um, the entry the barriers to entry is very low. The, the subscription cost is, is affordable mm -hmm. um, compared to other um, memberships. So I think it's a great place to just kind of dip your toes in the water. And there are, um, but it is a place for everyone because there are jobs posted from, you know, student projects that are looking, you know, for actors, but it's a great relationship building opportunity to, you know, very professional. Um, we just cast a project, help Google cast a project for their IO opening film. So you can work with a big brand name like Google and everything. Mm -hmm. in That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And do you work with um, clients globally or is it North America? <laughs> I think you're frozen. Am I frozen? Oh. Uh, we froze for a second, but let me just ask like Gwen so we can clip it out. <laughs> yeah. And and do you um do you work with um clients internationally or is it just North America? Internationally, yes. Yeah. So in Canada, in the UK, um, in Australia, mm. um and, and growing. Um, we are still in its infant infancy and still developing and growing. So I think. Yeah, there's lots of opportunity, but I do think it's a great, it's a place for, for everybody um, mm -hmm. to kind of have, you know, access to. And, and when you're, when you're reaching out to create people who are using backstage as a casting resource, 
Um, how would you just, I know you said it's from student films to big companies. Is it production companies? Is it um, individual businesses or agencies? How, how, do you, how would you describe that? Um, well, it's just me who does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only um, business development representative for voiceover at Backstage. So I do my best to kind of reach out to as many people as I can. Um, I do, we do have partnerships with schools and animation students. Mm -hmm. And so part of my outreach is um, building that, those relationships with the animation students and, and those schools. Mm -hmm. um, I'm primarily reaching out to um, creative agencies and production companies, producers, creative directors, Mm -hmm. um, those are primarily the, um, the people that I'm reaching out to. However, I'm also reaching out to animation folks, um, sound studios, um, video game designers, developers, um, people who I think really need a voice to read a script and bring that script to life. Mm -hmm. um, podcasts is a really big one um, for backstage Again, it, it's it, someone, creators who um, need, uh, yeah, a voice to bring a script to life. That's my target. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And when, when you're a member of Backstage, you have access to these opportunities and then you work directly, like you as a, as a talent have direct communication with the client, right? There's nothing, there's nothing in between there. You just are just pure yeah. resource. That's yeah, perfect. unless, unless you wanted to involve an agent, if you do have representation, right, right, right. Um, you can loop an agent in. Um, we are also at Backstage just about to launch agent tools. I think they're going to be launched when we do ask the sensei, so that'll oh, be fun. Okay. Um, where agents can actually upload their rosters and submit talent to jobs posted on backstage, which is a really neat oh, cool. and cool feature. Um, you know, again, it speaks to the on-camera world really well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it will lend to the voiceover industry as well too. Um, so I'm really excited about that too. Yeah, so, that sounds fantastic. Hey. Yeah, um, but other than that, you are representing yourself. You're working directly with the clients. You're building those relationships, mm -hmm. um, all of that fun stuff. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's see. Um, what would you say your motto is? Hmm. <laughs> um, my grandpa always said, and I don't know why this came to my mind, but he says, a busy girl is a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of layers to that. <laughs> yeah. So I think I like to keep busy. Um, I have a toddler um, and, you know, growing, growing, helping grow backstage, working full time. Um, I'm also expecting a, another one on the way. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, I think a busy girl is a good girl. I like to, I like to keep busy. Um, and, and that, that's kind of my life. Motto. Is that that's fantastic. Is that random? No, no, that's, that's fantastic. And then, uh, when the second one comes, things get, um, uh, exponential. <laughs> you, here. you think you've got um, one down and it's like, oh, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. I like being busy. I think it, it, it keeps me energized and, um, yeah, motivated. So yeah, I like keeping myself busy. <laughs> Great answer. Um, let's see. Knowing what you know now, what would you say to yourself at the beginning of your career? I think it was definitely that speech class that I took on a whim, you know? Um, I, I think if I, if I didn't take that class and have that professor tell me, you know, you've got to do something with your voice and point me in a direction, I would have never followed this path. Yeah. Um, and so I think I can, I can pinpoint to that random 
elective of speech uh, that I took yeah. in my last year that brought me to where I am today. So trust, trust your whims. <laughs> trust what ah. you can take. Okay, great, great. And um, obviously you've got a lot coming up, but what is your next goal or something that you're working for? Uh, yeah, I think right right now it's just focusing pretty, on human. Yeah. <laughs> pretty human check. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, focusing on my family, focusing on health um, is definitely a, a priority right now. And um, yeah, think, think, I, I'm excited for where backstage is going to go within the, the world of voiceover for speaking professionally. Um, I think there's... I think there's a great opportunity for backstage um, in the industry and, you know, with our relationship with voice one, two, three, um, I, I do think that there, there's just some, yeah, just some exciting things to come. Um, so I'm excited to see where this journey takes, takes me in backstage. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for doing Dojo 21 questions. And we'll look forward to um, having you join us for Ask the Sensei. And we will answer all of your questions out there together um, as to pertaining to, to voiceover and the business of voiceover. So, Sonia, thank you so, so much. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>